The situation is that your Wikipedia article has been nominated for deletion. You want to protect it, keep it in Wikipedia with the least possible effort. I'm going to tell you how to do that. If you want more information, just keep listening, but here's the brief explanation. You're a new user. You've just made your first edit into Wikipedia and created a new article. Somebody has nominated it for deletion and you've been given the option to participate in that deletion discussion. Here is the winning counter argument that keeps your article in Wikipedia. Say, my article passes Wikipedia's general notability guidelines because the subject of the article that I made is also the subject of these sources. And then below that statement, you link to sources that are also about the subject of your Wikipedia article. If you can say this, then it's very likely that your Wikipedia article will be kept. It'll pass the deletion discussion. If you cannot say this, my advice to you, unless you're enjoying the situation, is to pull out of Wikipedia, chill, don't engage right now in the deletion discussion, and regroup and come back later after you know your options. The reason why you shouldn't engage during the deletion discussion is that you might find it stressful. Of course, if you find it fun to participate in this discussion, then just do it as you like. It doesn't hurt anything. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. But if you want to save yourself time, save yourself energy and understand what's going on, I can tell you about this. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I am Wikimedian in Residence at the School of Data Science at the University of Virginia. I've been editing Wikipedia for many years. I've reviewed thousands of Wikipedia articles in these kinds of deletion discussions, and I'm going to tell you a perspective of how Wikipedians review these and what you should know to get engaged in this process. Uh, first, I'll tell you that there is a process for managing deletion in Wikipedia. You may know that Wikipedia is the encyclopedia that anyone can edit. That anyone can edit bit also applies to administrative processes like nominating articles for deletion. Anyone at any time may nominate any Wikipedia article for deletion. When this happens, a process is initiated. I don't expect you to understand the process. If you like, you can read it. It's documented to the hundreds of pages, but I'm just going to give you an overview so that you know how to enter this. Uh, first, when a Wikipedia article is nominated for deletion. If you don't already know the process, just reset your mindset. Whatever you're thinking is going to happen in this Wikipedia review analysis or evaluation, if you don't already know Wikipedia's process, then you're probably incorrect in whatever your understanding of it is. I say this because I've seen so many thousands of cases where somebody's article is nominated for deletion and they very passionately join the Wikipedia deletion discussion and start giving information and arguments that have no relevance to what the evaluators are looking for. Uh, they'll say th things like, uh, this article should be kept because this is an important person or an important process. And they'll give their personal narratives. And it can be a bit confusing to the newcomers who come to these deletion discussions and start saying these things because you may feel like people are listening to you. They ask you to keep talking and say whatever you want to say. And your comments are being recorded. And it's actually a quite respectful process. But this respect for the, for the users who comment in this process, it can be a bit misleading. The wiki community has a code of conduct. There's a lot of mutual respect in Wikipedia. And part of this respect is when somebody has something to say, we try really hard to hear what they have to say, listen to them, and find uh, good points in what they're saying to help them with their argument. But in practice, when people keep talking in these deletion discussions and they're saying things that aren't relevant to how they're being evaluated, they may have misplaced expectations that the discussion is going in their favor or that people are listening to them because uh, they're making persuasive arguments, when often this isn't the case. There's particular arguments that the wiki community wants to hear in these evaluations, whatever you have to say. You can say it in these discussions, and it can be useful even if you're saying things that aren't a part of these arguments, because we aggregate all the comments that we get from people, we analyze these in different ways, and we will, over time, uh, reorient the purpose of deletion discussions and how we treat people in these deletion discussions. If we see that people are commenting a certain way over and over, over time, 
Uh, we try to accommodate those people so that they get better support and their articles get kept. We really do want to keep good information as it's submitted to Wikipedia. But what you really need to know is that there's a process and the evaluators in the Wikipedia article, they're following that process. So what is that process? First, I'll tell you about the process is that it's high precision, meaning if you talk to a thousand Wikipedians, you show them an article that's up for deletion, and then you show this article to a thousand Wikipedians, almost all of them are going to evaluate the article in the same way. The wiki community, it's large enough, it's well-trained enough, and the rubrics are simple enough that two people who have never met each other, who both look at the same article, they tend to have the same opinions about it. They come to the same conclusions. And for this reason, I say that it's a high precision process. Uh, our volunteers are trained. They're trained in different ways. So they get trained by experience in the wiki community. They get coached into evaluating these articles by other Wikipedians. Uh, Wikipedians like to cite policies to each other so people can read these policies. I'm not saying that you need to read these policies or you need to have this kind of experience, but I just wanted you to know that if somebody's participating in a deletion discussion, it's very likely that they've had some kind of training and they've got some insight that a newcomer wouldn't have. So what is this insight that a newcomer wouldn't have? I told you that the best argument that you can made, make in a deletion discussion is that the article passes Wikipedia's general notability guidelines. You can look this up in Wikipedia. There's, an, there's policy space on this. It's part of the broader notability policy. Notability is the inclusion criteria in Wikipedia, which determines whether an article should be kept or should be deleted. That is, if an article is notable, then if a topic is notable, then it merits an article in Wikipedia. If a topic is not notable, then it does not merit an article in Wikipedia, and the article for that topic should be deleted. You pass general notability guidelines by demonstrating that for a given topic, that topic is the subject of multiple independent published sources that are independent of the topic. And within those sources, the topic has had significant coverage. Okay, three points there. Uh, it's pub published sources, independent of the article subject, and the coverage is significant. You, you meet those criteria. And it has to be this way for multiple sources. So you win the deletion discussion in favor of keeping the article by demonstrating that you've passed this criteria. And what you should recognize about the general notability guidelines is that Wikipedia articles are not evaluated on the basis of the content of the body of the article in Wikipedia. That is, there's this text in the Wikipedia article. Someone has written this text. They've written a Wikipedia article. And the reviewers, when considering whether that Wikipedia article should be kept, they're not even reading the text of the Wikipedia article. What they're reviewing are the sources cited in that Wikipedia article. So if you want an article to pass a deletion discussion, you should be talking about the sources being cited, not the subject of the article, and not the text of the Wikipedia article. If you're talking about the subject of the article or the text in the Wikipedia article, rather than the citations, then that's not a winning argument. You're going in the wrong direction, and that's not going to contribute meaningfully to the deletion discussion. There are exceptions. I'll tell you about some exceptions. Even if a topic does not pass Wikipedia's general notability guideline, under some circumstances, the reviewers will keep it. You can read about these special circumstances. They're called subject-specific inclusion criteria, or subject-specific notability guidelines, or special notability guidelines. And these are defined by topical area. I'll give you a few examples. It can happen, so there's a topical area for biographies, for people. So can it happen that a person can have a Wikipedia article and yet no one is citing sources about that person? How, how can this even happen? Well, in Wikipedia, when we're citing sources, we want to cite reliable sources. They have to meet a certain criteria. But sometimes it can happen that a person merits a Wikipedia article and yet there's no reliable sources to cite. It's an unusual circumstance. One example of this could be that someone is an elected politician of high rank 
So someone has just won an election, and yet when all the wiki editors look around the world, they cannot find any media source which has talked about this election or the person winning the election. A strange circumstance, but it happens more than you think. So this could happen in a country of an economy that isn't supporting the media environment very much, but somehow in the wiki community, we come to read in less reliable sources, unconventional, non-traditional sources, that some prominent politician has come to power, come to office, won an election, and for whatever reason, this isn't making headlines, it's not appearing in newspapers, no major media outlets are talking about this, and yet we know somehow from some data point or database or informal channel that the person has won an election. We have certain criteria for biographies that we say, okay, this person's going to get a Wikipedia article anyway. We know this fits into Wikipedia because we have articles and biographies on high-ranking politicians. We have some amount of fact-checking, it's just not conventional, and we're gonna pass this person. There's other biographic, biograph, biographical specific guidelines in Wikipedia where common situations are spelled out where someone doesn't normally have a biography and, and, and we still have it. And you can read in the guidelines about what these are. But in general, it's because someone has a high ranking office or they've won an award or they've had some great achievement and people can confirm that that achievement actually happened and yet in the media environment, sources are lacking for whatever reason. We'll still make a Wikipedia article for them. And if something's deleted and someone has one of these extraordinary achievements, then you can cite one of these special notability guidelines, and that's an argument for keeping the article. Another common situation in Wikipedia where something won't meet general notability guidelines, but will actually have an article on it, and you'll get this because it's related to the nature of Wikipedia. We have lower expectations and lower guidelines for reliable sources themselves. By reliable sources, I mean we'll have Wikipedia articles for newspapers, magazines, trade journals, academic journals, media houses. So if something is a source of knowledge and verified fact itself, then we will have a Wikipedia article on that, that media source, even if that media source is itself not the subject of other media. So why do we do this? The situation that arises in Wikipedia is that we're fanatical fact checkers. We're always citing all these media sources and it happens quickly. If there's a media outlet and they start putting out information, then Wikipedia editors start citing that media outlet and using it as a means of fact checking other information in other articles. So they're not using the media outlets own publications to make the article about the media outlet. It's just that the media outlet is pub publishing on current events or whatever the case may be. And then people are citing that outlet in, in other publications. You, you may not realize this if you're not in the media space, but media outlets don't often review other media outlets. It can be because they're competition. It can be because people typically don't want to read about the, the origin story of a media outlet or critiques of the media outlets. Within the wiki community and in the back of the wiki community, the administrative spaces, we have different forums where we're continually discussing what constitutes a reliable source, what are the biases of various media outlets, where, what are their leanings, what kinds of things do they talk about. So in these administrative spaces, we have different rubrics which we're using to judge this media outlet is good for this kind of information. You can browse it and maybe you can find some knowledge there. Or this media outlet is good for these, but we, we don't find it trustworthy or reliable for these other areas. Or we can just say, here's a media outlet. Let's, let's talk about it as the time arises. So we have special inclusion criteria for media houses. And we do this because we know that they're going to be cited in other Wikipedia articles. And internally in Wikipedia, we have confidence in our review and evaluation process for media houses themselves. So you might see publications, these kinds of things, sources of, of reliable information which themselves don't have good references in the bottom. And that's, that's just because there's, there's not publications out there that are reviewing other publications. Another common situation, I'm not gonna go through the whole list of these, but there's, there's one other one that I wanna mention, geographical features. The reason why we mentioned geographical features is because there could be a lake, a mountain, it could be something else, like an architectural feature. This happens a lot in places with history. Uh, India, for example, in, there could be cities in India 
that themselves are not the subject of media. An entire city, and for whatever reason, no one can find published sources describing the city or what's going on. And in places like India, there's various fallen empires. They're, the history is so old that they could have built a palace or a temple. It's been there for centuries. And despite this building having been there, and it's quite obvious that it's there, it hasn't itself been the subject of media attention. No one's reviewed it. It's not in any tour guide books. Uh, architects, archaeologists haven't reviewed the place. No one can place it culturally. And yet, if you have a hill, a mountain, a lake, a river, certain prominent sorts of buildings that everybody in a community knows, we might have a Wikipedia article on that thing based on photographs, which is not something we would typically use as a, a source in Wikipedia, but some, sometimes we'll do it, or based on uh, maps, which isn't something that we conventionally cite. We're really looking for human interpretation of these kinds of things. Geographical features, sometimes they have a subject subject specific inclusion criteria. If you want to know about your own field, like you're thinking, I want to just check out subject, subject matter specific inclusion criteria, go to what's called a wiki project in Wikipedia. What a wiki project is, it's the topical community that oversees a given area. So there's wiki projects for academic subjects, wiki projects for hobbies, wiki projects for whatever you can imagine there being a, a club, a social club or a discussion club for in Wikipedia. There's hundreds of these things. And you can go to a wiki project and say, hey, I'm writing about such and such. I'm having trouble finding sources. Can somebody either help me find sources or give me a clue if there's some kind of uh, special inclusion criteria for, for writing about this kinds of subject? And they might help you with this. If you're in the middle of a deletion discussion, like if your article has just been nominated for deletion, I don't recommend jumping and scrambling into the deletion discussion, trying to do your own research, trying to come up with arguments for keeping it. What you can do is just chill. Let the deletion discussion take its course. I'll tell you a secret. If your content is deleted in Wikipedia, it's, it's not actually deleted. It's just removed from view and you can ask someone, hey, can you undelete my content? I want to I wanna develop it further. So you can just chill and regroup. You can let the deletion discussion proceed, let the trained wiki evaluators say whatever they want to say about the article. And if you don't like the outcome, if your article is deleted, just say, hey, can somebody give me a private draft of my article back? I want to work on it some more. You work with the wiki project, you find some inclusion criteria that fits you. Really try to meet the general notability guidelines, if at all possible. And then, then work and develop your article. Supposing your article gets deleted and you think you've been treated unfairly, you think you, you do pass a notability guideline and there's a reason to keep your article and you wanna appeal. Well, what do you know? There's an appeal process in Wikipedia. You can ask for deletion review. There's a particular request process for this. There's a particular community. They're also trained to manage deletion review. And you can go and talk with them and you say, I want a deletion review. My article passes for such and such reason or you can give no reason at all and just say, somebody give me more information. If you, if you don't have a clue, if you don't know what's going on and you don't present an argument, chances are the deletion review team will either send you to one of the tutorial and newcomer support teams like the Wikipedia Tea House, or they might send you to a dispute resolution process. Otherwise, if you've, if you've got an argument or they can help you out a bit, if they see something, then it's, it's fine for you to request this. Just request a deletion review and see what happens. You can have the deletion overturned and then your article can be reinstated. I don't recommend deletion review. It doesn't work for most people. What, what really does work is saying, give me a draft of my article back. I'm going to work on it further. Again, don't work on the text of the article. You should work on the citations at the bottom of the article, the sources that you're citing, because that's what the reviewers are, are doing. And if all else fails, you can, you can just start over, abandon. Sometimes it's easier not to work with text that's been deleted in the past, but to refresh your mind, regroup, leave Wikipedia, find sources to cite. When you have that list of sources, come back into Wikipedia. And my advice to you is don't write Wikipedia articles that are long to start with. When you're writing a new article, submit something like five sentences. It's a solid article and cite five different sources. If you legitimately have five sources to cite for a new Wikipedia article, it's very likely that your article will not be deleted. It's going to make for a clear, very clear discussion, and your article is likely to pass. After you get those five sentence, 
sentences in there. Your Wikipedia article is made. Nobody's nominated for deletion. Add more sentences as you like over time. It's wiki. Anyone can edit. It's not a race. You can add the, add the sentences as you like. And you have a, a much more comfortable and relaxed pace. For those of you who want to participate in deletion discussions, whether you're a newcomer, whether you know what's going on, you can participate in these deletion discussions. Uh, if you want to do that, the channel in Wikipedia, the forum, the discussion place where this happens is, is a place called Articles for Deletion. And if you go to Articles for Deletion, you'll see lists and lists of articles that are nominated for deletion. Anyone can edit those. You can go into any of those articles and say, keep, I want to keep this article. And you give a reason why you think that article should be kept. Or you can say, delete, I think this article should be deleted. And you give a reason why it should be deleted. It's not a vote. This isn't a democracy. We're trying to come up with some kind of consensus. If you make a statement at all, please put a rationale because just saying keep or just saying delete isn't enough. With every suggestion, you know, not vote, it's, it's something like a vote, but it's not really, it's a not vote. You, you should put the rationale for why you're doing this. And some people find it fun. I've been doing this for years. I'm, I'm one of many people who do this. And you should check it out. If you, if you check this out, then you'll have a better understanding of, of how Wikipedia works, what gets included, and what gets excluded. Thanks for hearing me out.